The Bible is the mark of the beast. Now remember this message today. It's your life depends on it. It's called your testimony. And nobody ever teaches you this, but I'm a son of God and I teach you different things so that you'll understand the truth. The testimony is really life in you, Christ in you, the word of God in you. This is the only testimony God's got on earth. See, the Bible worshipers, they put the word of God in a book. Well, that's dead. You see, that's dead letter. God is alive in us. We're the only witnesses God's got today. You Holy Ghost children, you're a light of the world. So watch this. You've never heard this before. And follow me on this journey through the book of Revelations and you'll learn something. Now in the first chapter of the book of Revelations, it says, Who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. See, this is the testimony the testimony is the message within you, the truth in you. Say like when Jesus stood before Pilate. Did he say, no, I'm not the son of God. I'm not a king. He didn't say that. He said, for this purpose, I was born. He said, my kingdom's not of this world. He testified a good testimony. See, today when we tell people the Bible's an idol, the Bible is the mark of the beast and Christ lives in us. This is the light that lights everyone that comes into the world. We're telling the truth. Well, you can't even stand on the street with a sign that says the Bible's the mark of the beast. They'll attack you because you see, Satan don't want this word out. He killed all the Quakers that said this light is in us. See, when they was hanging them, this boy was telling them the light is in us. It's not in your hand in a book. And they hung them. They, they done away with about 50,000 of them. King James and his cronies. Now, this testimony that you have today is very, very important. Now, this is Revelation 1 and 9. You study these things. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulations and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ had God in him. He had the message of God in him. He said, the anointing is upon me because I come to preach the gospel to the poor. That's what is in us today. The word of God is in me. The Bible's an idol. This is the first word of God that's been in the world for hundreds of years. And you little Holy Ghost children, this is your testimony. See, when you stand up in heaven, this word of God, this testimony is what saved you. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, you have the message of God in you. Can you imagine a Bible worshiper standing up before Jesus and saying, this was your word and hold a book? You see, you don't die for a book. You don't have a testimony when all you have is a book. Suppose you went to court today and you'd seen somebody shoot somebody. Well, then your testimony, your message, your truth about who shot that person puts that person in the gas chamber, or the lethal injection. So you see, your testimony will put all these people that worship the Bible and where they belong outside of our new world. They will not be part of us. We have a living message, a testimony. This is your testimony. Now watch this in Revelations 6 and 9. Now, this is very good. It says, And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. They were slain for the testimony. See, the Quaker said, It's the light in you, not in your hand. I'm telling you, it's Christ in you. It's not a book. A book is of the devil. See, this thing here, this thing here is a devil book. This is Constantine and King James. This testimony in you, Christ in you, that's what people can't stand. Satan cannot stand God being in us. So have this testimony. See, they was a slain for the word of God and for the testimony they held. See, they'll kill us for the testimony that we hold because it's Christ in us. Learn this. This is what it tells you. <laughs> and uh, the Bible is history, the history of our people, but... Satan had it compiled through Constantine and through King James to keep us out of the Holy Spirit. If we keep our mind on the Holy Spirit and off of us and off of other people, then we have peace and we have truth and we stir up the gift that's in us. When your mind is on the Bible and your mind is on other people around you and all kinds of rules and laws and stuff and revelations that people have, then your mind is not on the Spirit, not on the inner light. And here we go. This is in the two witnesses now. And uh, this is in the 11th chapter. 
And when they had finished their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And that was after they preached this message. When I get this message out, Jesus will probably bring me home because that's their testimony. That's their message. That's their truth in them. See, when you tell the truth about a person, about a, a Jesus, this light that's in you, Satan does not like the truth being in you. He likes the truth to be in this because you can twist this. You can't twist the Holy Ghost. So these two witnesses had a testimony just like us children got today as Holy Ghost people. We got a testimony, a message to tell you. And you know, another <coughs> thing to remember is too that the wiles of the devil, you can even run into a person that will believe this truth for whatever reason. It's usually because they can't fit in with the Bible world or whatever, but Unless a person is born of the Spirit and they have the Holy Spirit in them and they're living by the Spirit, then they're not part of Christ, not even if they believe this truth. So always go by the witness of the Holy Spirit in you. If you're born of the Holy Spirit, then the Holy Spirit will tell you the truth, even though outwardly it may look good. But if the Spirit don't bear witness, it's not Him. Now this one's one I want you to really get. This is really good. And this is overcoming the mark of the beast and overcoming the devil, okay? And they overcome him by the blood of the Lamb. Now, he's the one forgives us of our sin. And by the word of their testimony. See, you have to have this truth in you, this message in you. And they love not their lives unto death, but they overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. You remember that? Keep the testimony of Christ in you. Keep this word in you. The Bible's an idol. The Bible's a mark of the beast. Satan don't like to hear that. Because it's Christ in us. It's his message in us. His testimony in us. And here's one that made the dragon very, very mad. The dragon. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which kept the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus. See, we have the testimony of Christ in us. The Bible's the mark of the beast. See, this word had never been preached before in, in history. But now the word of God is being heard again and his sons and daughters are going to be manifested. So remember this, by their testimony, that's what upsets the devil. And this one here, this is in the temple in the tabernacle. This is the truth. This is the message of truth. This is in the tent. And after that, I looked and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was open. See, this is the truth. Jesus Christ came. He brought the word of God. The anointing was on him. He shed his blood. He raised from the dead. He sent back the Holy Ghost. That's the testimony, Amen. the life that's in you. Amen. All right, now watch this as it all ends up. It has to do with your testimony. You have the testimony of God. If you have Christ in you, you have the testimony of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See you do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony, that has the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy, the spirit of God in you. This is the testimony of Jesus. The spirit ain't in no book. God's word has always been spirit, not a book. So that's the testimony. Keep the testimony of Jesus Christ. Nobody teaches you that but us people that have this light in us. So have the light of God in you. Be a testimony. And, and soon God may manifest us. We may all march down Washington, D.C., holding up our placards and saying, the Bible is an idol. It's the mark of the beast. That's our testimony. And that's how they say, that's our story. And we're sticking to it. I started out for Jesus Christ to run. Don't give up, men are dying When everything has 
soon be over me. Peace at last.